Hi everyone, uh, welcome again and uh, let me discuss with you one more uh, question which is asked, which has been asked rather in uh, one of the IT uh, during MTech interview and this question is from production engineering section. Okay, and uh, the question is as you can just see over here, what are corrugated GI sheets and why they are corrugated? So first you need to have the idea what do you understand by corrugated sheets and that too particularly corrugated GI sheets and what is the purpose of corrugating them right so just have a look over here it's pretty simple it's not like a difficult question but okay you need to have idea so all of you have seen these kind of sheets right particularly these sheets are used in the uh, roofs of the houses right so you may have seen these kind of sheets and uh, this is kind of a machine or a production process which is used to make these kind of sheets so they have been made from the plain sheet so uh, they may be color coated in this case you can see it is color coated and they may be like uh, simple uh, zinc coated also so this is one of another kind of shape shape may differ depending upon uh, the requirement and that uh, you want to have so uh, how they are produced so first of all you need to have the idea that for example you are having this coil initially when we are specifically talking about the corrugated gi sheets now what does the meaning of corrugated gi that you need to see Corrugated GI means GI over here stands for galvanized iron. Galvanized iron. And corrugated means a particular shape that you have given, distorted shape that you have produced from a plain sheet. And that sheet, what you have done is you have galvanized that sheet. So galvanized uh, galvanization, as you may have, uh, may be knowing, that is the process where you. Uh, create a layer of uh, particular metal on the base metal and particularly over here we specifically talk about the zinc normally if you see the steel sheets in the steel sheets normally we uh, do the coating of zinc in order to protect them from the uh, this uh, rusting right so it is not iron iron you know we are not using the iron practically because iron is very weak material so when we just add the carbon so we are having the steel so basically they are the steel sheets only but they have been galvanized so if you want to have a just see this process so very briefly i will tell you so that you can remember it for example this is a coil of that galvanized uh, gi uh, uh, coil that i can say so it's a plain sheet initially how it has been produced so uh, particularly you are having a you must have seen that after cold rolling we are having a coil right so cold rolling of the steel you, are, you produce a coil and then that coil is then coated with the zinc so over here the coil that you see over here is basically zinc coated so this is something process where you allow that coil to pass through that zinc bath so over here if you have a look so this is a zinc bath so you will allow this particular coil sheet to pass through this particular so a, over here you can have a look so somewhere here you are having a zinc bath through which you are allowing that uh, bare steel sheet to pass and therefore a coating is produced and once it is produced then we will say this particular sheet which is getting produced which i can coil it easily after once it is uh, uh, allowed to cool and all that so this sheet which in which you are having coating of zinc we call it as a galvanized iron sheet right so so that means to produce a galvanized over here see you could have i could find the figure of uh, this color coated only so obviously when you will change the shape this shape to this particular shape color if it is a color then we call it as a pre-painted galvanized steel sheet that means you have done the painting of a particular color so this is basically pre-painted but if i say if you will simply convert cut this sheet and give it this particular shape corrugation if you will provide then i will call that this sheet which is produced from this particular coil i will call it as a corrugated galvanized iron right okay so I hope you understood it what is the meaning of corrugation and uh, what is uh, uh, corrugated gi sheet so more appropriately this is the corrugated galvanized gi sheet corrugated gi because over here you are having only of what uh, zinc coating only in this case right but if you will provide color then i can i will say the ppgi pre-painted galvanized iron that means you have given a particular color so uh, that is how it is called uh, okay, again, this is the same thing. You can find the application, different application of these uh, uh, galvanized iron sheets. So, okay, just have a look. Now, the second question over there was that why they are what? Why they are corrugated? Now, as you know, if I give you a plain sheet, then if you will apply a load, it will easily bend. So, if you want to increase the bending resistance 
of that sheet, plain sheet, what you do is you make the corrugations, you distort its shape in the form of corrugations and when you will apply the load, you will get the more resistance for the bending. So that is why we corrugate a plain sheet. Instead of using the plain sheet directly, we go for the corrugation. Now, next question that could be asked from you that how that bending resistance of the corrugated sheet compared to the plain sheet, uh, plain sheet increases. So that you have to uh, explain uh, with the help of making use of the concept of strength of material. So that I am going to discuss with you in the next video. But here I will uh, restrict myself for the simpler explanation up to uh, that is which has been uh, uh, with respect to this particular question. Just have a look on these few lines. Corrugated galvanized iron or steel, basically it is a steel sheet only, just they are not a tin, okay. Sometimes we have a misconception that normally in normal terminology we call it as a tin, tin shed or tin sheet. There is nothing, you know tin is a very weak material. So it is not a tin sheet. Yes, it may appear like you are having a uh, color which may resemble the tin, but it is not the tin sheet. It is basically the steel sheet only that with coated with a zinc, that is all, okay. So, Occasionally abbreviated as CGI, corrugated galvanized iron in a building material composed of sheets of hot dip galvanized mild steel. See, hot dip galvanized mild steel, I showed you over there, you are having a bath, zinc bath, over there is a molten bath and you allow that sheet to pass through that. So that is the hot dip, that means you had dipped this particular sheet into the bath of molten zinc, that is why you are calling it as a hot dip you had dipped it inside the zinc bath galvanized mild steel so mild steel uh, or the steel which you have coated galvanized gi so cold roll to produce a linear ridge pattern in them cold roll obviously when you will deform it to change the shape it is in the cold condition only right the material used usually is steel which is uh, iron alloyed with carbon for strength okay this is a very common composition normally you say that uh, mild steel which you find in most of the applications particularly in these uh, construction work and all that so having roughly about 0 0.2 to 25 to 0.3 percent of carbon so it is not a kind of a uh, you can say this is a typical composition roughly you can think of like 0 0.25 to 3 percent the corrugation increases the bending strength of the in the direction perpendicular to the corrugation so for example this is the corrugation so if you apply a load then obviously that it will not bend that easily, right. So that is a benefit. How that bending strength increases, I am going to discuss with you in the next video. So this was the explanation that was required, very brief explanation you had to give and it was pretty simple, not uh, difficult. So that is uh, what is the meaning of corrugation and why, uh, uh, sorry, uh, corrugated GI sheets and why corrugation is used. Uh, in these applications or why we do not keep that particular steel sheet plain, okay. So see you in the next uh, video where I am going to explain you uh, why that strength of corrugated steel sheet or corrugated sheets is more than plain sheets. Till then bye, thank you.